High temperature gas cooled reactors use inert noble gases as a coolant. There are two common fuel geometries, hexagonal prisms or prismatic reactors and spherical. The fuel form for these reactors are usually triso microbeads embedded in graphite shaped into spheres or hexagonal prisms. For prismatic geometries, the fuel is arranged into rods, as in light water reactors. For spherical geometries, the spheres are piled on top of one another in what is called a pebble bed. Here we see a steam cycle schematic for a pebble bed reactor. Pebbles are loaded into the reactor core from the top and removed from the bottom. Noble gas coolant flows around these spheres. The steam cycle secondary coolant loop is placed in the side of the core such that it interacts with the heated gas. In order to keep the reactor critical, high temperature gas reactors often surround the fuel in neutron reflectors. These neutron reflectors send neutrons that have left the fuel region of the reactor back into the core region. This increases the neutron utilization, or what is called the neutron economy. Reflectors work by having a relatively large scattering cross-section with a relatively low absorption cross-section. The thickness needed to reflect a certain fraction of the neutrons depends on the properties of the material used. Common reflector materials include graphite, steel, beryllium, and tungsten carbide. Consider the following one-dimensional example where a fuel region with a flux phi sub zero at the boundary of the fuel is adjacent to a reflector region of thickness A that starts at x equals zero. This can be seen in this diagram here. To solve for the flux in the reflector, consider the diffusion equation with no external source term and no fission. In particular, the negative of the diffusion coefficient times the Laplacian of the flux plus the absorption cross-section of the material times the flux is equal to zero. We can rearrange this to say that the Laplacian of the flux is equal to the absorption cross-section divided by the diffusion coefficient multiplied by the flux. In one dimension, this reduces to the second partial derivative of the flux with respect to x equals sigma a over d times phi. The solution to this ordinary differential equation is the flux at position x is equal to the flux at position 0 times e to the negative square root of the absorption cross-section divided by the diffusion coefficient multiplied by the position x. Therefore, the fraction of neutrons lost to the void, or by being absorbed in the reflector, is given by the ratio of the flux at the void boundary divided by the flux at the fuel boundary. Therefore, phi of a divided by phi of zero is just equal to e to the negative square root sigma a over d times a. Therefore, the remaining neutrons must return to the core because they're not absorbed and they don't leak out into the void. And so the fraction of neutrons that are reflected is given by 1 minus phi of a divided by phi of 0, or equal to 1 minus e to the minus square root sigma a over d times a.